Hello guys, welcome to the next video on JavaFX tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see how to use radio buttons in JavaFX. In the last video, we have seen how to use checkboxes in JavaFX. So how are radio buttons different from checkboxes? Radio buttons are also used to choose one option out of many options uh, available right and uh, checkboxes are also meant for the same so what is the difference the difference is using checkboxes you can choose multiple options but radio buttons are generally used to choose only one option out of many options so let's get started and let's see an example and see how we can use uh, radio buttons so i have created uh, this project which i named it as a radio button and in my application package I have this main.java file in which I have added this uh, main.fxml and then I have this main controller.java class which I have created which is blank right now and I have this main.fxml file okay so uh, this is just a blank project I think till now you know how to use them okay so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my main.fxml file and in here first of all the anchor pane I'm going to change the layout pref width and pref height to 300 and 300 okay so pref width 300 and pref height is equal to 300 now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the controls and in here I will search for the radio buttons and for example I will give you an example in which conditions you can use radio buttons for example you want to allow the user to choose a gender of a person right so it can be either female or male it cannot be both or you want to allow the user to choose uh, his age right so it can be only one age it cannot be different right so we are going to take an example of uh, the gender selection male or female right so I'm going to take two buttons and I'm also going to take one label here and uh, first of all I will change the text of uh, this radio button I will go to the property and first radio button text I'm going to change it as male and the second radio button option I'm going to change the text as female okay and the label I'm going to leave it as empty and uh, now what I'm going to do is I will go to the property of uh, this male radio button and in here you have uh, some options right so let's run this or preview this fxml file using uh, this uh, scene builder preview option so just go to preview here and then click preview in window and right now you can see i can uh, select both of the options but this we don't want right we want to choose either male or female so we uh, want to allow the user to choose either one of them and not at the same time so how do we do it there is a property called uh, toggle group which you can set to allow the user or to allow the user to choose from a group of radio buttons right so we will uh, make a group and uh, in that group we will assign the radio button one and radio button two to that group so that they will belong to a toggle group and then you will be able to choose only one option so uh, i will just choose first a uh, radio button and go to the property called uh, toggle group and you can say this is uh, my group for example okay or any other name which you want okay so for now i'm going to give it my group right and take the same name which you have chosen here and then go to the second radio button and give the same name here also to the toggle group okay so the toggle group for uh, male radio button and female radio button is same and save your code and let's preview it once again and now we cannot choose both radio button at the same time 
only one is uh, selected another is unselected okay so when i choose this female the male is unselected and female is selected okay so only one of them can be selected at a time right so this is due to this toggle button now if you uh, want to allow the user that uh, this male radio option is always selected you can choose this option called selected just click it and then it's uh, by default selected so when we preview it the radio button will be selected where you have checked this option okay so right now we don't want that right now uh, let's give the id to these uh, radio buttons so i will go to the code and select a mail radio button and i will name it as rb1 for radio button 1 and second radio button i will name it as rb2 for radio button 2 okay and now i will uh, connect this uh, main.fxml file with the main.controller java class so i will go to the controller here and select application dot main controller from here and i will save everything now i will go to uh, my eclipse ide and uh, refresh my project once again and now i will go to uh, the main controller dot java class and in here first of all i will declare these uh, radio buttons right so let's declare these radio buttons and the label so i have declared these radio buttons and the label and uh, the name should match what we have provided in the fxml file so we have provided one first radio button as rb1 and second radio button as rb2 and we have selected one label also let's import this uh, label from here and then choose the same name for the label and give uh, select your label from here so we have uh, taken this label just select this label and then uh, give the fx id to this label which you have given here so the same name to this label here okay save your code and uh, refresh your uh, project once again and now we are going to create one uh, method and which will be public void uh, action perform method so it will return void and the name of uh, this uh, method we are going to name it as radio select and just pass this action event uh, method here and give the name to your uh, argument which is event for example and go inside your method and in here first of all we are going to declare one string variable and we will name it as message and we will initialize as, as blank string okay now when somebody selects a radio button it has a property as we have seen in the last video which is called uh, is selected so just take your rb1 and then just use the property called is selected okay so is selected and it returns the boolean value right so if the radio button one is selected which is male in our case what we will do we will just uh, take this message and assign the value of uh, this radio button or text of this radio button right so message plus equals and then take this rb1 dot get text and then you can also provide this uh, line break okay so just give backslash and here which will provide the line break in the same way just copy the same code and paste it here and this will be rb2 this time okay so rb2 now once we have the message we will just display it on the label so we will just take this label variable and then dot set text and then the message value so just provide this message value here now once this is done just uh, take your method name and save everything and go to your fxml file select your radio button go to the code and in the action on action just choose your method name which is radio select same you will do for the female radio button and same method 
on uh, action will be selected here so both have the same on action method just save your code and refresh your project and run your project okay so i'm going to right click and run as java application and now my app is running so when i click this uh, mail radio button it prints on the label mail and when i click female radio button it prints on the label female right so male and female right so in this way you can use radio buttons in java fx you can uh, use uh, this same radio button for choosing ages or in a situation where you want to allow the user to choose only one option from multiple options so i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for